everyone welcome back to my youtube channel please if you haven't yet like comment and subscribe because we have got an interesting video today i feel like it's going to be very beneficial to my girlies and the guys too so give it a listen hear me out and enjoy this video these are the things that you need to know these are the things you need to know guys somewhere somehow we all struggle with mental health and i'm one of those girlies that really suffer from mental health but i know how to keep it in check and i want to give you guys some pointers by the way this is my mic if you see it peeking through <laughs> i'm so sorry like a lot is going on but yeah okay is it time podcast i don't know who needs to hear this but i need you guys to listen to podcasts if it's something you don't do i can give you a ton of recommendations because i feel like a good start to your morning sets the tone of your day sets the tone of your life and what's not any other like any any podcast you need to listen to something that's going to benefit you and uplift you the reason why i'm saying this is because it podcast if you're going to listen to into ayakayo exchange it's going to make you feel good is going to make you want to do and execute anything throughout your day okay and i have a ton of podcasts that that i listen to i would highly suggest hindsight hindsight is literally gonna calm your day down and put those thoughts that you would usually think midday right there so i would suggest instead of eating food drink water drink water while you're listening to a podcast and then if you don't like the taste of water try putting chlorophyll try putting in chia seeds put if you have cinnamon put cinnamon in there because cinnamon is very good for you but load your body up with nutrients and good stuff exchange trust me trust me just just do that okay i'm also going to touch on to journaling journaling is such a great thing to do and i'm so glad that my friend opened me up to it because had she not things would have been so different because guys i know it's nice to talk to your friend but if you give your friend the secrets they have their own best friend and they have the other best friend so have a book have your own personal book where you write down all your fu's to whoever and whatever you're feeling because it's just oh it's great but if you're not that type of person that likes to do that Another thing I would suggest you do is on your phone, go to voice memos and just talk. Why baby and the podcast yeah my feelings are and just leave it there. When you're done, either delete it or keep it there. But have maybe a digital journal. Or what you can do is I don't recommend violence. <laughs> I'm not gonna suggest violence. Do whatever works for you. Personally, journaling really, really works for me and voice voicing out everything that i need by myself is perfect a good place to get a journal is from typo or you can just get a regular regular book and write down your feelings that's all you need write down your feelings and also plan your life like plan your life out i feel like a lot of babies a lot of girlies just you know think you're gonna roll dog life you need a visual image of how your life will go yes when i child would see next thing messages you're not writing it down put it down on pen and paper and have something that you're going to constantly look at which brings me to my next point pinterest pinterest is such a great place to plan out your life to have ideas like sometimes social media is not good for you actually no not even sometimes social media is not good for you if you're using it as work a good platform for work like myself then yeah it's beneficial but you need the detox but the intense I'm English, Pinterest is your girl. Pinterest is the social media with media. Pay. You're just going to see pictures. And those pictures could be what you want in life. I will give you a depiction of my little Pinterest. And you'll see what it, what goes on. Like, you'll see what I do. You just need inspiration. Sometimes the inspiration yaku, should not be from the people that you know. Because... I feel like that leads to competition. Oh, who's a symbol? Unalen, who's a symbol? Unemek. Oh, who's a symbol? At the age of twenty-one, 
she has her own place now me i have to have my own place basically pressure and now when you start thinking like that your blinkers are not on your blinkers are like everywhere you're just looking everywhere and you never have focus get up challenge straight up facts you will not have focus if you keep your blinkers flip and open keep your blinkers on but do have inspiration and that's why i say pinterest is perfect because the people that are on there you don't even know them but you know would see as in the bag that they have by next year i want it you get what i mean so pinterest is a great great app on that note please like comment and subscribe and do check out my pinterest because i'll be posting great stuff and if you like one of the girlies that are kind of like shy and like posting your pictures so i highly recommend pinterest if you want to post yourself you don't want reactions that like your picture your picture that you were thinking that it's fly could be someone else's inspo you get what i'm trying to say or even if it's not someone else's inspo you posted it and you're okay you're not waiting for likes you're not waiting for validation you don't need that when if we tell me reals which we post we ghost and if they're telling you what's your only ghost then they should stay in their motherfucking lane that's why i say put them blinkers on period plan out your day you need to have a daily planner if you don't have a daily planner it's fine use your journal but plan out your day or go onto your phone if you have an iphone or you have any other phone go on your notes app and write down is into that you want done today so for example typical day i wake up in the morning um first thing i want to do is journal i want to journal twice a day write that down okay cool and then gifunu gets us twice a day write that down i know it sounds like mundane things like oh okay yeah other people it's literally the hardest task in shabin so relax write down the things that you want to do and it's personal it's your personal book no one has to see it no one has to say anything no one has a say in whatever you write write down the things you want to get done throughout the day we are keza we are washa okay cool i want to at least read 10 pages of a book or five pages of a book i don't know i don't know what you want to do but write that stuff down and then at the end of the day checklist everything or every time you do that activity that you said you're going to do take it off this is my pain take it off take that shit off because you did it and what you're going to have at the end of the day is tasks that you needed to do done and you're going to feel very great about yourself because you did things that you thought you would not do because you set that goal up for yourself yes from a girlie that lives in a very busy area you need greenery if you live in daweni engati fleti or riganjan guys one of the activities you need to do is be outside and i mean going to the beach i mean going to a park do that shit because it really helps being one with nature is like the best thing ever the reason why i'm saying this is because if you read the bible and if i'm wrong like please correct me songe sisuke mhlabeni and mrs shona sipindela mhlabeni so we are very connected with nature and the world and the earth so going out in nature grounds you if you get what i mean it's very nice it's very therapeutic if you can do something do an activity make it a habit twice a month three times a month be outside smell the air take off your shoes feel the ground feel the grass look at the sky look at the trees hear the birds chirp leave your airpods at home leave every electronic thing that makes you cope on a normal day to day at home and see what you can do and gradually some be 5 minutes 10 minutes 30 minutes damn you outside for an hour cool do that who's going to judge you i know it makes sound delusional it may sound like yo i sing your cool line can talk to yourself agree with yourself who's going to agree with you you want other people's validation no sometimes you need to say no somebody has um i shouldn't do this or oh, the same but yeah you're actually right carry on with life who's gonna say what to you no one so have talks with yourself in these sorts of settings where you're alone if you can't talk to yourself and you feel like it's kind of awkward it's kind of weird bring your journal and write everything down write how you're feeling in that moment write what you're hearing and 
write your overall experience with yourself so that you can reflect on it one day and be like as young season and on the topic of being alone or going out by yourself or going out with friends or being one with nature do solo dates <laughs> i know this could be the biggest and worst task for anyone but do solo dates it does help and another thing before i touch on it please don't tell people you're on a solo date if you're living in south africa don't do that shit and don't don't even if you anyway just don't don't tell people you're on a solo date just go and if you're like the type of person that takes content like me post that when you're out of that area do your solo dates go to places where you feel like as in this is tranquil and i feel like any solo date that you go on is so so therapeutic but to start off small start off with isn't though you try it you go to like a mall wet go to a mall wet and then come back go to the beach wet come back and ukuba lonely is not a bad thing i feel like people shame it because we just glorified in dabayama relationships and you have you have to have companionship you have to have friends if you don't have friends then you're weird or no you're not i'm gonna tell you one thing no you're not be learn to be by yourself that is when you're going to grow and also when you are journaling and you're in these places alone you get to know who you are if you're someone that lacks was would see uban going on solo dates will open you up to all of that cuz now you know things that you like and do not like and also write that down what does us assemble like or what does like what do you like doing what do you like eating what pisses you off what makes you happy write those things down because i'll tell you what if you go back to those um if you go back to that while you're journaling you're going to be like oh damn it sets the tone if you're getting into a relationship or what cuz usuya zazi melu zazi in order for someone to love you you need to first love yourself and the only way that you can love yourself is to practice self love this is practice this is not something that you do in a day and you're good to go boom we're great no it's your journey put them blinkers on and keep it pushing to me versus me at the end of the day and that's what i love by and that's what i want other people to live by because most of you are not and you're doing that period i'll do a video about this soon but i will touch on it the gym <laughs> the gym everybody thinks with you going to the gym you're out there you're trying to fetch your summer body in winter you're trying to be that girl all of that yeah yeah that is one of the outcomes you get if that's the mindset you're going into gym with okay but if you're going into the gym and you're like as in i just want to keep my mind busy i don't want to think all the time you have something new like gym is a new activity in my eyes like it's like another school okay ozong energy mini and you find things that you don't know all the equipment you do not even know how to use it that's a challenge that's you taking your mind out of the mental health issues like gaining and pataga throughout the day and your focus is now learning something that's what i love about the gym you're first going to study the machine and for this challenge era i will give i will tell you one thing when i started at the gym i did not know anything it was a haunting experience because i don't like to not know <laughs> I hate to not know like I want to know what I'm doing and I want to do it right. Going into the gym and not knowing anything is very very helpful for your mental health because it gives you something to focus on and learn. Don't compare yourself. Don't ever compare yourself because most so said you mean everybody has different goals. That's why I hate when someone tells me what to do and what's wrong. Yes it's nice to know what's yes and great that people but It's like also you don't know why I'm at the gym. Maybe it's my mental health. Maybe I want to grow a booty. Maybe I want to grow my back and make it look good. Maybe I want you know the guns. You don't know what I'm there for. And yeah, what the good boni someone to but keep your little opinions to yourself. I will get there when I get there. Period finishing class. Big 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 one. Reduce your screen time. <laughs> If it means 
archiving Instagram and putting it somewhere there, do it. If you're addicted to TikTok, put it right there and, and keep it pushing. Because, okay, these are the people I went to school with. These are the people I went to church with. Oh, they're living in Cape Town. Oh, they're living in Joe. Oh, they got a YouTube channel. They're making it. It hurts. It will hit a nerve. And that's the mentality that you don't need, and that's the mentality that won't get you forward, and that's the mentality that is going to bring your mental health. Can't. We are all on different parts. I keep at the fun and nearby. Air Kayako, air loy, air loy. In a corner, this whole thing of craving someone else's life. Yes, I want to be like Kim Kardashian and make that money but you don't know what kim kardashian did to get where she is right now a was look therefore never never envy someone else's life because how they got there you oh yeah all you see is the kissing glam and what they decide to show you and eh do not compare yourself because their pace is their race your pace is your race that's why i'm always trying to emphasize blinkers 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 like if you don't know what blinkers are um think about a horse horses have blinkers because if they look around if you have your blinkers on all you're focused on is the road ahead of you you cannot even see you cannot even think with the evening now because you have your blinkers on have your blinkers on and you'll get somewhere buy physical books if you are a audio book type of girly guy that's cool but normalize reading books a self-help book i feel like everybody in their lifetime needs to read at least read two self-help books and a book that i would recommend if you're going through it and you have mental health issues read what happened to you by oprah and i forgot the, author, the other author but i'll put it right here read that book <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie to uzokala but that allows you to go deeper into yourself and understand things that you didn't even know about is on using later pants is on it that are bringing me down as a person you get what i mean like you need to do shadow work as much as you're scared like there are people that are like so scared of themselves and i'm just like how are you scared of yourself but like, you're ready to everything that you want from someone else you need to start it within you and i'd also recommend um atomic habits if you're still not new to like how to do your habits right what to do and all of that read atomic habits it's a very 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 good book um another book that i'd also want you guys to read is the power of the subconscious mind it is a great book you have to learn how to rewire your subconscious so that you can work with your mind and with your heart because yeah it's going to get you far in life another thing that i wanted to touch on is how you talk to yourself guys every time okay i've noticed this thing where umuntu shambe uzoti oh my gosh like your makeup looks so good you like ah didn't do it well this time you know that's you bringing yourself down and you don't need that you don't need that take compliments and thank you keep it pushing if you want to be the thank you you too babe cool that's fine but learn to take a compliment if someone sees you in a good light don't diminish yourself just because you're trying to be modest it does not save you at the end of the day so learn to speak positivity in your life another thing that i would recommend is that when you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror mirror work is what it's called give yourself affirmations like i said if you go back to the drawing board of journaling and you write down things then you can write down ama affirmations that work for you to say i have beautiful eyes my hair my crown is absolutely stunning you need to look at yourself and think yes yeah man no moon to man hi ghost ghost am a ghost yeah but learn to put yourself first yes but put yourself first 
this is my last point i feel like i've talked to your guys ears off but i hope it was very beneficial to hear this but i need you guys to block things that do not serve you in life life is trial and error no life is linear your your life's not linear your, your life is like this it's ups and downs and ups and downs and and you need those lows to to appreciate your highs log things that do not serve you if it's friends if you know what or they contributing to you not being okay cut them off you don't even have to tell them that you're cutting them off cut them off it's your life at the end of the day and if it does not make you happy and it does not serve you cut it off but when you're out of that season you're gonna make it trust me you're gonna make it i really hope the things that i've shared with you help with your mental health or just navigating through life like this is what i've learned from the 22 years that i've been on this earth and there's a lot to learn there's a lot to grow from and it's only up from here and yeah dude life is a lot but you can manage you can do it by incorporating healthy habits in your life those little small steps can lead you to who you want to be and you need to notice the things that do not serve you and you need to notice the things that do serve you in order for you to go forward in life and i wish you guys nothing but the best and like comment and subscribe yes like comment and subscribe because we are on the road to 1k and i really hope by the end of this video we get somewhere and please in the comments let me know how you felt about this talk let me know what you feel about certain things that i spoke about let's have a conversation i love talking to you guys i'll see you guys in the next video